everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be creating swatches for my Distress Oxide ink collection using some brand new organizational products from Waffle Flower Crafts. These color combos, dyes, and stamp sets are all about helping you to swatch out your various mediums, which can be really helpful when you're starting out any new project. Let's take a look at the particular products that I'll be using today. There are a host of color combos, stamps, and dyes that you can use for swatching. Today, I am going to primarily be working with a few specific products, starting out with this tag die, which cuts and embosses at the same time and also comes with little reinforcement tabs. I'm also going to be using the combo swatch tag die. This also has a coordinating stamp. I'm not going to use this stamp today because instead, I am going to use this really cool bullet list stamp and you'll see how this works a little later on. I just think it's genius. I'm taking this particular die from the large combo die set and I'm going to be cutting out a bunch of these strips because these strips are perfectly sized to fit into this area on my tag that's going to be embossed. So I'm cutting out a ton of those and then I went ahead and cut out a ton of these. Well, not a ton, but you can see it cuts the tag and it gives you this little embossed area, which is gonna help you line up your swatches. And now it's time to start swatching. I've got some blender brushes. These are from Tailored Expressions and I'm gonna be using one colored brush for each color group that I'm working with today. I have all of Tim's Distress Oxides, but I don't really know what to do do with them all the time because I don't have great swatches. I mean, I have a little tiny dot of the color on the outside, but I've never really gone in and swatched. So this is kind of exciting to me to really know what these colors look like, what I have, and how I might be able to combine them. Rather than clean my brush between each color, I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm gonna rub the heck out of it to get as much of that ink color off before I move on to the next ink. And my experience in this process was nothing transferred that shouldn't have transferred. So I was getting great results every time I changed colors and just wiped my brush off. I did work from lightest to darkest, of course, and I do think that helps. But I was able to work through in order, only changing my brush when I got to a new color group. So I just worked my way through and got great results. And I would recommend, of course, cleaning your brush eventually. And I learned about a great brush cleaner from my friend Lydia, and it is called the Master's Brush Cleaner. And you use it in conjunction with this little thing that goes over your fingers like that. Just run it under some water and run your brush over and get some soap on it from the brush cleaner, and you're good to go. Okay. Now, once I got these all swatched out, it was time to adhere them to the tag. And that's where this little embossed square is really nice because it gives you a quick way to line these up, pop them down, and go work your way down in rainbow order, which is what I did. Just like that, they're ready to go. I decided to take a white jelly roll pen to add the color names. I was gonna do black, but I thought the black would stand out a little bit and the Jelly Roll pen worked pretty well. And the other nice thing is there's some parts of it where it kind of reacted with the ink a little and it almost looked like uh, that picked raspberry, for example, is kind of pink. But once I got everything swatched out, I added a little reinforcement tag to the top. I just wanted to go with white, very neutral, but now you can see how these look. Rusty hand. My handwriting's not great, but you know what? What I'm really focusing on here is the color, and that's what matters. Now, here's a cool thing. You could take this stamp, the bullet list, and instead of handwriting on the front, you can just stamp right on the back. You would just ink up the stamp from the bullet list stamp set, stamp them down, and then you can go in and handwrite all of the colors. I bought some book rings from Staples to hold everything together. And there you have it. I now have a fan of colors and it took a while. I had all my swatches laid out and kept them in order and then just worked my way through and now I know what each color looks like. It's a great resource. Let's move on. So this combo tag also cuts your tag, 
creates a little area. You can use the large die that comes in the main combo die set, but I'm not going to do that because I want to have a little more room for ink blending and a place to hold my hand while I'm doing that, if it makes sense. But I am going to be using the middle bullet list to document my combos, and I've just got those on some comfort blocks so that those are going to be ready to go. Now here's the fun for me. I don't experiment at all with my Distress Oxides. I mean, I've used some, and I'm very conservative with my usage, but what this is going to let me do, let's say there's a day where you're just not feeling very creative, well, you could sit and swatch your inks. Whatever your inks are, just start playing and seeing what happens. I have never used these colors together. Not that they're that crazy, right? This isn't, you know, ooh, who would ever think to do this? Well, I would have never thought to do this. So working my way through, creating my swatch panel, and then I'm going to cut this down to fit my tag. So again, you can use that die to cut out little two inch squares, but I wanted to have more room to blend and make these colors get nice and juicy, see? And then I can frame it out and cut it with the die. Next, I'll stamp this little bullet list at the bottom, and then look at how cute this is, just a tiny little square, and then you go in and you stamp your key. I love that you make a little key of the three colors so that you, you will not forget which one is which. You stamp those in, handwrite the colors right onto those stamped lines, just like that, and then go ahead and adhere your blended piece right onto the tag. Super fun, and now I have one tag swatch done, and I know, hey, this is what this looks like. So for me, this is gonna be a really big move so that I can start playing with my Distress Oxides more and trying to work with what I have and maybe even get a little more creative. I will be storing these swatches out of the sunlight. This is right inside my big paper and supply cabinet that I have in my dining slash craft room, but I wanna make sure that the inks stay true to color and so I will protect them from the light. Be sure to check out the new release here from Waffle Flower Crafts, especially if you've got mediums that you wanna swatch. Thanks for watching and I will see you back here with another video soon.